Welcome back, my dear student. So, our app looks like this now on Heroku. Well, on the web, because this is on the web now, right? We have the Laravel fresh installation like this here, right? Well, why don't we actually add some files so that way we can log in and register, right? Or register and log in. So, let's do that. What I want, what I need to do from my point of view, well, not from my point of view, what we need to do actually, is and what I like to do is go to the Vagrant machine, all right, in Homestead basically, and do everything from there. Because remember that our Vagrant machine has all that we need. From there, we have to do PHP migrate, uh, PHP artists and migrate, and then we deal with databases there because all our software is, is installed there. So I'm gonna go and I don't have a I don't have a shortcut or an alias yet on this. I haven't created one on this computer yet. So I'm gonna go to the he, uh, to the Homestead folder in my home directory and I'm going to invoke or turn, go to Vagrant SSH. I'm gonna SSH into my machine from here. There we go. Then I'm gonna go to the folder where my app is located and then from here, I'm going to say PHP artisan migrate, actually make auth. There we go. And that should give me some really nice scaffolding. I'm gonna go to my app right here and let's go to resources view. And as you can see, we got some new folders here and they have not been committed as you can see into our Git, uh, to our version control, all right? So of course we can do that if we want to. Get it, uh, get status, let's check that out. And we can see that we have we don't have that there. And let's go to our local files and we can see the same thing. See that, modified, same thing, all right? So why don't we add this, and it doesn't matter where you add it. Actually, I am in Vagrant in both of them, let me see. No, this is on my local computer and this is in, in Homestead, Vagrant. Okay, so in either of those, let's add the files, all right? And let's commit them. And let's say uh, just installed auth files, enter. Now what we wanna do is we wanna push this to Heroku. So we're gonna say git push Heroku master there we go that looks like it's working and da, 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 da. beautiful so this is your workflow all right you make some changes you add it to your git version control you commit it and then you push it to heroku and everything will be waiting for you there if it works out refresh here and there you will see the login of course, we don't have any users now, so let's register somebody. I'm gonna register myself like I always do. I'm gonna register my email. I'm doing a coding faculty. I'm gonna register my password, I can't tell you that. And register. And as you can see, it took me to the dashboard. Now I'm logged in, and this is online, guys. We are using a free application online. Well. Not only just free application, free hosting, right? Now, this is not, again, I warn you, this is not very strong when it comes to having a lot of users, so don't depend on it, just play around with it, all right? All right, so let's look at our database real quick and see if we can see something there. And this is the Heroku Postgres. So if I go to users and I click there, you can see that the user has been submitted into that database, right? It has been, is there. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you for this lecture. You're doing very good if you're following along. Great job, remember that if you don't know something about this course, I, I might have a course for it. Just check my profile, check the platform, check the school, and check for, to see if I have that course. If you need something, that some type of skill that you don't have that you require for this course. And I probably, out the, uh, I. I'm pretty sure that I warned you about those skills in the beginning of this course. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.